Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, medical doctor. Welcome to another video. Heart disease rates are absolutely soaring across the Western world. It's an absolute tragedy, got especially bad over the last few years. And this is happening across many Western countries, including the United States and United Kingdom, two countries that are very close to my heart, no pun intended. And I want to share with you in this video 10 ways to naturally protect the heart from heart disease. Yes, this is very possible because believe it or not, probably the majority of heart disease cases are preventable or at least significantly delay the onset of heart disease. To emphasize just how shocking the situation is, let me share the following with you. So here's an article regarding the situation in the United States. Heart disease remains leading cause of death in US. New report finds. This is a recent article and it says that the report published in a major journal found that almost 1 million Americans died from cardiovascular disease in 2022. Those appear to be the latest statistics, and that's an increase of more than 10,000 from just over 931,500 reported the year before. I'm sure it's got even worse by 2025. And here we have a piece from 2025 from the United Kingdom, the British Heart Foundation. Worst start to a decade for heart health for 50 years. Warning as a new strategy is launched. This is actually from the last few days. The UK's heart health has declined more quickly at the start of the 2020s than in any other decade for over 50 years. New analysis shows there's been a rise in the rate and number of deaths in working age adults aged 20 to 64 from heart disease. In the UK, the rate rose to 55 deaths per 100,000 in 2023 from 49 per 100,000 in 2019. So these are absolutely shocking trends. And I talk a lot about these issues as well in my free newsletter. For those of you who are not already signed up, link is down below in the description. Sign up after you've watched this video. So let's go then. 10 ways to naturally protect your heart from heart disease. Number one, know the warning signs. This I want to put first because a lot of people, even that I encounter, have already got advanced heart disease. Do not delay getting checked out. I really mean that. I know there are many wrong things with our current healthcare systems in many countries, but if you have any of the warning signs, if you have unexplained chest pain or chest pressure, especially if you exert yourself like going up the stairs, walking long distances, if you have unexplained excessive shortness of breath, palpitations, discomfort radiating to the jaw or down your left arm, those are all classic warning signs. Please get checked out and there are many different things that can be done if you already have significant blockages in your heart arteries. Hopefully any intervention will be quick and any medications that you may be prescribed will only be for a short amount of time. But do not forget to get checked out if you have any of these warning signs. Number two, diligently work on reversing insulin resistance. This is a topic that I talk about a lot, made many videos before, but to summarize, insulin resistance can be determined by many different blood tests and most commonly used are HbA1c. So if you are pre-diabetic or have type 2 diabetes, you already have known significant insulin resistance. But the test that I really prefer, and I don't understand at all why the medical establishment doesn't use this, is a fasting insulin level. This can be checked at the same time as a fasting glucose level to determine HOMA IR. There are a lot of online calculators available and you can often find that you are insulin resistant years before it even shows up on the HbA1c. Insulin resistance is also a primary driver behind elevated blood pressure, so hypertension and high cholesterol. And I've talked in many videos before, you can check them out on how to naturally reverse insulin resistance, primarily by instituting lifestyle changes and making sure that you're in the best possible shape and the best possible health. Number three, move your body every day as much as possible, assuming that you haven't already got significant heart disease, which I'm assuming most of you won't be at that advanced stage. Continue to focus on moving your body and thereby working your heart to the appropriate degree. My own rule is one hour a day of exercise. I mix cardio with muscle strengthening, but if you aren't in any regular routine, like going to the gym or lifting any weights, remember you don't have to become a weightlifter, just do gentle dumbbell exercises, 20 minutes, three times a week, that is enough. But ideally to keep a strong heart, you want to mix muscle strengthening with cardio activity. At the very least, walk as much as possible, at least 10,000 steps a day for most people out there move, move, move. It is very good for your heart. And again, if you already have any warning signs of heart disease like chest pain, pressure, or excessive shortness of breath,
then get checked out. But a regular exercise routine is one of the best things you can do to protect your heart over the long term. Number four, eat anti-inflammatory real whole food. This links to the whole insulin resistance thing, but I want you to always distinguish at every meal, everything that is put in front of you, is this real food, i.e. is it fresh food, or is it artificially produced junk, an industrial concoction? And the more that you eat real whole foods, it is very likely that you will have fewer insulin spikes and less chance of insulin resistance and associated weight gain. So strive as much as possible with every meal, every snack to have real wholesome food. At the end of the day, you can't beat a simple meal of a protein and two vegetables, what I call the anti-inflammation low insulin diet. Focus on optimizing protein and antioxidants. Lots of colorful vegetables and fruits are high in antioxidants. My own personal favorite are fresh organic wild blueberries. I eat them every single day. Those of you who watch me regularly already know that. It is a superfood. Number five, heart support supplements. There are a number of heart and vascular support supplements with a significant amount of research behind them. I personally am a huge believer in natural supplements for health. I've taken natural supplements myself for many years. The more well-known heart support supplements out there include magnesium, coenzyme Q10, L-carnitine, hawthorn berry, and fish oil, omega-3 supplements. Lots of very good research out there behind these natural heart support supplements. And I'm going to interrupt for a moment to tell you about the latest addition to our natural supplement store, ohiwellness.com. It is a heart support supplement uniquely formulated, containing magnesium, coenzyme Q10, hawthorn berry, and L-taurine. Links are down below in the description. We're very proud in the USA to be working with a veteran-owned company. Ohiwellness.com if you're in the USA, North America. Ohiwellness.co if you're in the UK, Europe. Make sure any product is right for you before taking it. And if you have any unique medical concerns, always speak to your doctor. Number six, manage stress effectively. Stress, as you all know, is absolutely devastating for your health. Those elevated adrenaline and cortisol levels will wreak absolute havoc. The amount of times that I've been working in the hospital and somebody has presented with an acute cardiac event and you dive into the history and you realize sadly that they've been going through a particularly stressful time. Elevated cortisol and adrenaline are not good over the long term. I know it's easier said than done, but if you think that you have constant stress in your life, take a step back. Work out where those sources of stress are. Can you deal with them? Can you eliminate them from your life? And if you can't eliminate them from your life, then commit to regular activities that help to lower your stress. Whatever that may be for you, a walk in nature, meditation, watching your favorite comedy show on TV, perhaps going to the gym is your stress reliever, maybe spending time with family and friends, whatever works for you to relieve stress and take your brain and mind to a better place where those stress hormones can settle down. That is really important for long-term heart health, and I really encourage anyone out there for whom stress is a problem to focus on this area strongly. Number seven, get enough sleep every night. This is so important for natural circadian rhythm and ideal heart and vascular function. The statistics are really bad. So many people, the majority of people actually, don't get adequate sleep every night, and it's really important to try to sleep at the same time every night, wake up at the same time, Try to get that restful, constant sleep. Have a winding down routine at the end of the day so that you're calm and relaxed and you can have a really good night's sleep. The optimal sleep for most people is somewhere between 6.5 to 8.5 hours. That's in most people and everybody should know their own sweet spot. How much sleep is ideal for you and are you getting that amount of sleep regularly? Number eight, strive to eliminate toxins which are bad for your heart. The ones which come to mind, alcohol, excessive alcohol consumption. At the end of the day, alcohol is a toxin. Smoking cigarettes, recreational drugs, and also medical therapeutics. There are certain medical therapeutics out there which are not good for your heart. Speak to your doctor about any evidence behind any pill or any injection which may have any adverse effects on your heart. Pills and injections are prescribed for many different reasons nowadays but make sure that there are no potential side effects for your heart. So bottom line is be very careful with all of the toxins which are in our environment and people are taking on a regular basis. Coming back to alcohol for a moment, I'm not saying you necessarily need to be a teetotaler, but alcohol is a toxin. Make sure alcohol consumption is not excessive. Number nine, build strong social connections. I like to talk about this as much as possible because we forget 
that as humans, we are social animals. I'm not saying that you should be around company, which is bad. Of course, it's better to be alone than around bad company, but perhaps you haven't found the right type of company nowadays, especially in the online world. There are lots of ways to connect with people in the community who are like-minded if you don't have immediate family and friends. But remember, as human beings, we are social animals and we tend to get more happy when we are in these social environments, especially with like-minded people or people that we really care about. So especially with each passing year, maintain those strong social connections. Research has shown that this is good for the heart and helps to improve cardiac and vascular health. Number 10, I would urge you to keep regular track of your numbers. I'm sure most of you who watch me regularly are keen on maintaining the best possible health and well-being, but it is said and very true that what you measure, you manage. So don't leave it to the doctor to simply check your blood pressure once a year, measure your labs, take an active approach, have a blood pressure machine at home, and you can check your blood pressure depending on what your baseline health is and how often you may need to check it, but keep tabs on these things. You can also keep track of your labs. Make sure that you've downloaded all your labs. You're looking at patterns, including your glucose level, your HbA1c, your fasting insulin, if you can. Keep track of whether you're anemic or not, your hemoglobin, any other inflammatory markers, your cholesterol panel. Of course, that comes with a caveat because cholesterol a lot of the times is high because of insulin resistance. And I've talked many times about my thoughts on the lipid cholesterol hypothesis. But I want you to really keep tabs on all of your markers, your parameters, and obviously as well, your weight, your body fat percentage. There are lots of scales out there where you can measure your body fat percentage. Waist circumference, especially if you are a male. So track all of these measurements and notice trends over time. And if things are moving in the wrong direction, that should be a wake up call. Okay, everyone, let's go over those 10 ways again to naturally keep your heart as healthy as possible. Number one, know your body. Listen to your symptoms. If you're having any warning symptoms, then seek help as soon as possible. Number two, strive to reverse insulin resistance as naturally as possible. Number three, move and exercise as much as possible to an appropriate degree for your age and medical history. Number four, eat real whole food, what I call the anti-inflammation low insulin diet. Number five, natural supplements. Many natural supplements out there that can help to support heart and vascular health all backed up with significant research. Number six, strive to manage stress as effectively as you can. Number seven, have a good night's sleep as often as possible. Number eight, be very careful with all of the toxins all around us. Number nine, strive to maintain good social connections, especially with each passing year. And number 10, track your measurements and all of your different parameters and labs as much as you can so you notice any trends. Okay, everyone, I do hope that was helpful. I'm rooting for you all to succeed. Stay well, stay healthy, and do everything as natural as possible, which is always the best way. And if you do have any concerning symptoms or signs or think you may have heart disease, go get checked out as soon as possible because things can really be nipped in the bud. And we all know with the heart, sadly, things can happen very suddenly. I'm sure all of us have stories to tell with family members and friends. So this is a crucial part of your well-being to focus on. Thanks everyone for watching. Do feel free to leave a comment down below. Check the links in the description down below for my website, all the other work I do, and once more, our natural supplement store. Also, if you're not already signed up for my free newsletter, that link is down below as well. Hit the like button if you like this video, the subscribe button for more similar videos in the future. And if you enjoyed this video, you will also enjoy some of my other videos on naturally reversing insulin resistance and taking your metabolic health to the next level. We will speak again very soon.